Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is India's critical mineral mission. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The Union Cabinet has recently approved a 1500 crore rupees incentive scheme under the National Critical Mineral Mission to develop domestic recycling capacity for critical minerals. Now let's discuss, what are critical minerals? Critical minerals are essential for economic development, national security and the global shift to a low carbon economy. They are vital for clean energy, high-tech electronics, transport, telecommunications and defence. Their supply chains are highly vulnerable, making security of access a strategic priority for governments. In 2023, India's Ministry of Mines identified 30 critical minerals, including lithium, cobalt, nickel, rare earth elements, tungsten, titanium and others. Now let's talk why critical minerals matter for India's clean energy future. Solar energy, silicon, indium, gallium, tellurium power, photovoltaic cells. India's solar capacity, 64 gigawatt, relies on these inputs. Wind power, high performance magnets in turbines use neodymium and dysprosium. India aims to expand wind power from 42 gigawatt to 140 gigawatt by 2030. Electric vehicles. Batteries need lithium, nickel, cobalt. The government has set a target of achieving 30% electric vehicle penetration by 2030, which is expected to lead to a sharp spike in demand for critical minerals. Energy storage. Lithium ion systems integrate renewables depending again on lithium, cobalt and nickel. Now let's discuss about National Critical Mineral Mission. The National Critical Mineral Mission seeks to position India as a key player in the global green economy. Its legal foundation lies in the amendment of the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Act. Under this framework, the central government holds the exclusive authority to auction 24 of the 30 identified critical minerals. The mission focuses on securing both domestic and international supply sources of critical minerals. It also aims to strengthen the entire mineral value chain, including exploration, mining, processing, recycling, R&D, and human resource development. The mission spans 2024 to 25 to 2030 to 31 with a proposed outlay of 16,300 crore rupees alongside an expected 18,000 crore rupees investment by PSU and private stakeholders. Now lastly moving on, conclusion critical minerals are the oil of the 21st century scarce, strategic and central to clean energy and national security. By implementing National Critical Mineral Mission, India is not only securing mineral independence, but also positioning itself as a global hub for green technologies, EV and strategic manufacturing. The mission is a cornerstone in achieving India's 2070 net zero target while boosting economic and industrial resilience. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about National Critical Mineral Mission. 1. The National Critical Mineral Mission is based on the amendment of the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Act. 2. National Critical Mineral Mission includes a 1,500 crore rupees incentive scheme to enhance recycling capacity for critical minerals. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.
for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.